And I know that some people may be a little bit nervous out there. I get it. But we got to do all we can to protect our neighborhoods. And the way we do that is continue to work together. If you know something, say something. That strong plea from Mayor Ed Gandy tonight, urging the community to come together, speak up, and help end this uptick, uptick of violent crime in Pittsburgh. And just one hour yesterday, two young men were shot and killed in two parts of the city. Megan Schiller is live with the mayor's push for peace now. Megan. Mayor Ed Ganey just walked the streets of Homewood calling for peace, saying that he wants the number of killings to get down to zero. But unfortunately, today it is anything but. We just received new numbers from the Bureau of Police. And also, we talked to the people out in the communities that are deeply affected by what they call these senseless killings. Just steps away from the senseless killing of a 15 year old boy, Cassandra Paul's pain boils over. This child who was dead on these streets last night has stayed in my house with my 11 year old grandson. How do I tell him his friend is dead? She's the mother of a victim of gun violence. Someone murdered her 19 year old son in 2007, just down the street here in Homewood. Every child that y'all are talking about in the last week that have been murdered or close to my heart. I have babysitted this child. The latest victim, 15 year old Davon Vickers, becomes the 18th person gunned down in the city of Pittsburgh over the past three months. The numbers are up from the same period last year. And non fatal shooting numbers are also tracking higher so far this year. A Wilkinsburg mom lost her two sons just this month. One shot dead in Homewood here on Inwood, the other in Brookline on Shelton Avenue. It's painful, uh, frankly speaking. It's, 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 it's the soil from which men against destruction, defending against drugs and social disorder was birthed. Children dying in the streets of their own community. George Spencer walks these streets for mad dads, and he says if you're afraid to speak up about these killings, call him. I mean, I'm 60, I'm 66 coming up on 67, and if my voice can be what makes a difference on holding people accountable for killing a 15-year-old, call me. Mayor Ed Ganey echoing that same message Thursday. If you know something, please say something. Somebody lost a 15-year-old. You know, I, I understand violence I, quite well. Um, you know, my family, so I know what that family's going through. So if you know something, say something. He tells me he's committed and he needs people to keep pushing. The only way we're going to be able to solve some of this is if we begin to talk to one another. And I know we started that. I know the community's been dialoguing. We have to continue. And Mayor Ganey said that the only way to really create peace in our community is to not just have the government and the neighborhoods pushing for it, but you also need the cooperation of the nonprofits and the corporations as well. He admits, he says it's not going to happen overnight, but he says he's going to remain steadfast in his quest to get the homicide numbers down to zero. Reporting live tonight, Megan Schiller, KDK News.